Hi all. Hello. I am Maya. I am Akhil. And we are Harry Dinkar. And welcome to our channel. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about one of the most important thing in our life. Food! <laughs> Food, food, food. <laughs> so jokes so far. Today's topic is about what and where to eat in Bali. So we are gonna cover Ubud and Kuta because these are the two places where we stay. Firstly, I would say Maya has researched so much about what are the unique things that you get in Ubud. And I would say the list that I've seen is everything about food. <laughs> Nothing else. And uh, but luckily the, the good thing is because she was able to research so much about food, uh, she was able to explain uh, what are the unique things that you get in Nubur or in Kuta or across Bali, right? And one of the main things that we found out or one of the unique aspects uh, of uh, the food or the item that we found out was smoothie, smoothie bowl. bowls. <laughs> Please note, these are the few restaurants that we visited in Ubud. So our second day in Ubud, uh, we desperately wanted to try the smoothie bowls because on the first day we couldn't do that. Because we, we reached extremely late yeah. and we were tired. Uh, so we thought that okay, probably on the next day, half fresh smoothie bowls. So we uh, went to this restaurant called Buddha Bowl. So Buddha Bowl was uh, somewhat closer to the place that we stayed. Uh, and and uh, it's in the center of the city, the main market place. So uh, we ordered for the fruit smoothie bowl. I, I would say what we have asked them is give us your specialty. So yeah. wherever that we went, we have directly asked them give us your specialty. Because that's something that we wanted to taste and enjoy and relish. Oh. <laughs> so the quantity was generous and the fruits were really fresh. It was very yummy as well. As it was our first smoothie bowl, we did not know what to expect more for. But we were not satisfied with just one, you know. So then it was we yummy. <laughs> then we went to the next one on the same day. When it comes to smoothie balls in Bali, across Bali basically, you do have uniqueness at each places. So you don't get the same kind of or same variety of uh, smoothie bowls that you get across different places. So that's yeah. that's the best thing that we uh, identified or what we found. Uh, and the best part is, uh, even though the first place that we went, they had different set of fruits and things like that uh, that they have provided us. The second place which uh, which we went was, it's called Akai Queen, I believe. Right? Yeah. And they had uh, different varieties of uh, smoothie balls, which, which Maya would definitely explain. <laughs> so we had no clue what this Akai is all about, but apparently it's a antioxidant berry, which is imported from Brazil. And the picture which you will see next, the purple color scoop of ice cream is the Akai Berry ice cream. And it was very, very different. We have never ever tasted something like this. It had a sweet, sour taste. And it was served to us with fruits, cream and chocolate. I would have to comment something here. I don't care what it is. It was yummy. <laughs> it was really yummy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So the first night in Ubud, uh, we were like really tired after our river rafting adventure. So we decided to visit a place which is really close to our... Uh, Basically walkable distance from yeah. uh, our hotel that we stayed. So we visited this Mexican restaurant called Cilantro. And we were so, so amazed by the food, the ambience, the service. Everything was perfect. Especially the ambience, I would say, you know, it's just that they identify that we are, I don't know how they identify that we are a newly married couple and uh, They gave us a very beautiful secluded place on their terrace It was uh, with all lights, beautifully right? lit, like a perfect candlelight dinner for a newlywed couple, I yeah. would say And we were really impressed by the arrangement which you can see in the next video These are the four things that we ordered. So Mexican cuisine is very uh, similar to Indian cuisine 
and we actually experienced a very authentic Mexican taste in all the four items which we ordered and we were really really happy with their service uh, the staff was very kind and polite and of course the food was yeah. so I would give them 100% <laughs> five rating mm -hmm. wow. So the next place which we visited is after uh, we went to Alas Harum Agro Park, a restaurant which was very closer or I could say just adjacent to the park. It's known as the Teba Sari. The ambience of this place was really amazing. Uh, I would say it's like uh, out of the forest. You know, in between the forest, you have a small village. Yeah. And within the village, you have you know the village folks coming in and serving food <laughs> with beautiful streams with a lot of fishers and things like that. So yeah, the ambience really good... was five on five. But what we thought uh, after ordering the food is uh, it was a little bit expensive. I, I wouldn't say it's a little bit expensive. It's actually expensive. It's... And the quantity was very less. Yeah. Also, uh, this is where we found out that Balinese food has oyster sauce and prawns in it. So vegetarians, please ask if they are including all these things in their prior. Food. So please ask in prior that if if are you going to add something like oyster sauce or prawns and things like that. So extremely be careful. But if you're a, a non-vegetarian, if you're not allergic, then yeah, just ignore this comment. <laughs> So the food was yummy, but the only thing which we felt is the service was very delayed. Yeah. We had to wait for a longer time to get our food. I would say it was like took around 45 minutes after the order. It, it took 40 and, and the thing is, um, you know, after we came back from this place, so um, we were extremely tired and hungry. Yeah, and hungry. So we were like, um, you know, can we get the food a little sooner? Yeah, so, so you can see my expression here. Please note, these are the few restaurants that we have visited in Kuta. So after reaching Kuta, um, we visited this Indian restaurant because we were craving for Indian food. I don't know why we were craving for Indian food in Bali. So I would suggest <laughs> that it's extremely a bad decision that you're going to take if you're going to do that. Please note that wherever places or whichever places that you visit have the food over there. Their authentic food, that, that is what our advice would be. But still we went to an Indian restaurant and it was good, okay, pretty good. It was very, very close to it's, us. It's a small, it's a small restaurant. I wouldn't say it's a huge restaurant and yeah. things like that. It's an extremely small restaurant right opposite to our uh, hotel yeah, that yeah. we stayed. Yeah, it is known as the New Delhi Indian restaurant and we had uh, chas. Egg biryani and paneer chili from there. <laughs> it was actually very very yummy. So the guy who owned the restaurant was from Haryana. So the cuisine was very very authentic North Indian. So for someone who is craving for Indian food in Bali, this place is definitely recommended. So the next place which we visited is Ganesha Egg Sanskriti. Please do not. Please, please. And like thousand times I would request you, please do not visit this place and waste your money. Yeah. Because it was expensive and we had so much of tummy ache the after immediately after having all the food from there. Yeah. They also serve authentic Indian, North Indian food basically. Uh, the quantity is less and the price is more. extremely high we went there because the reviews were really good for that restaurant and i don't know why the reviews were good yep the service was extremely slow we really like waited for an hour and after that when we ordered for dessert that also like took so much of time so we had to cancel our dessert the pani that we ordered was like you know i can i can throw it to a dog and the dog might die so that that's what the the hardness of the pani was, it was so bad it was bad what we personally felt is it's a fake review that somebody has just randomly put across just to you know showcase that they're one of the best probably restaurants. people who don't know what authentic indian food is they would have given the reviews but we did not like it at all so the first day in Kuta, we decided to go for a place to have smoothies again. So when we researched, we uh, were recommended to go to a place, a place called, called Paper Paperboy. Boy. I would say one of the best places that we, we have visited. 
the not memories because of the are so fresh even though when we are talking right now we can actually feel how the place was and how the taste of the food was it's, it's not just because of the food but it's it's because of the a uh, kind of experience that we had with the folk who were over there yeah. uh, i would say the staff was extremely kind extremely kind a uh, guy named george who uh, actually served us our food he was the most jovial person yeah. we have met in bali and uh, the, the accent that he has a uh, amazing <laughs> accent boy <laughs> so these are the things that we had in paper boy So the most recommended one Kuta baby is a must try and also we loved the dragon fruit smoothie personally it was very very yummy yep and we went there twice you know once for dinner and once for breakfast because we loved that place so much so next time if i'm visiting kuta again or bali again i'm i'm just going to visit this place yeah. i i hope that he's still there in the place to you know george is still there in the place to servers but one of the uh, you know amazing experience that we had so the memory still remains for us uh, i would suggest you guys please if you are visiting in bali please go to this place called paper boy it's very near to the airport as well so you can if get down at the airport and just go there yep for a dinner lunch or breakfast, breakfast. The next place that we visited was right opposite of the Paper Boy, which is the Cranbourne Coaster. This also had like a really high rating. This is after when we had our brunch is when we researched about this place and we found that it's really very famous. Yeah. And when we had the food from there is when we felt why it is so famous. Wow. The thing is, they have different menu for different uh, time of the day. The yeah. breakfast menu is not repeated for lunch or dinner, and vice versa. And these are the things that we ordered in Crumbin Cost. So you can imagine how many kind of things they have, and the quality of the food is. Wow, it's 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 on the you know it's, I don't know where where to go. They have they had some unique dishes which we tried, especially the zoodles, which is made up of zucchini. I really loved it personally. I've never had something like this. It was really very very refreshing. And they have wrapped something. I mean, I, we have not personally seen that or tasted it, but uh, there were few things that we have noticed that you know. Uh, they wrap in uh, um, uh, cabbage. They wrap in uh, uh, different fruits or different uh, vegetables, and they serve it. Yeah, so, the presentation was very unique, as well as the menu is also very very unique. It was basically filled with uh, the entire place was filled. You literally have to wait yeah. to you know get inside the place. So you can you can imagine it was such an amazing place to visit. So I, I would recommend if you're going to Kutha or if you're visiting Bali. Paper Boy and Crumb and, Crum and Coaster, definitely you have visit. to visit. Yeah. The ambience is good, the food quantity is generous, the price is affordable, and the staff is also very kind. Service is also fast. So if you like our video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends if you found it informative. Also, please click on the bell icon so that you are notified when we upload new videos. as well please update or comment on the comment section so that anything related to travel and we are experience we could probably help you out thank you